was was up everyone it's Astro here and today we are back in uh, EU4 Eastern Roman Empire campaign or Byzantium as people would like to say so you know it's pretty great I had just recently gotten the Cossets DLC what because well I just saw the advantage that the sale was doing. Well, I just bought some more DLC stuff. Of course, the, of course, this wasn't discounted, but it was pretty low, so I just decided to get it. And we have to choose a native policy, which is actually pretty neat. It's pretty nice. Uh, now the question is whether I should do the coexistence, the trading, or the rep or the repression. I don't think I would do the repression policy. I think I'll do the trading policy. Since that does give the assimilation a chance. Oh, you can change it any time that you want. Alright. That's nice. Unfortunately, we can't do the Estates tab since... Uh, apparently it's broken, I guess. And these troops are trying to make their way back to our territory. Right? And I think this is another feature that change your culture, I can change it to any of these adjacent cultures, which is, I believe, really, really cool. Yeah, I find that to be pretty sweet. Of course, I'm just trying to change that to the, you know, the culture should spread. Plus, the Mongol culture is just so huge. It's in places where it really shouldn't be, so that's gonna be changed really quick. Trust me, it's it's gonna be changed, I think, in pretty quick. Especially since now I own the entirety of this Caucasus area. It's it's gonna have some changes going on. Alright, so our core is finished, so let's see, what are we going to call it? Um, let's see. Something like that? Yeah, sure, why not? Alright, the estates tab has been unbroken now, so let's see. What can we do? I'm not really sure how this works, but. Uh, hmm. Yeah, how does this work? Actually, don't really know how this works. Oh right, I think you just click on a province and you give it to them. Yeah, yeah, that's what. 
here, but okay. Okay, now let's look at the estates. I'm kind of wondering how this works. Actually, some pretty nice stuff. I think the clergy should definitely get some land. And what other land is there? Hmm. I'm thinking maybe Sophia. Do Absolutely no idea how this works. Yeah. But, uh, I think it's June pretty good. Kind of a little confused by this mechanic, but I guess I'm gonna try to see if I can use it to the best of my ability. So, and okay, so as of right now, uh, we're at war with Poland, but from what it seems, uh, we obviously outnumber them. So, and Slavonia has given me volunteers, so uh, thank you, Slavonia. And I'm just gonna have to say, uh, I guess I'll just have to see how this goes. Hopefully, I win, and if I do, then Poland will be finally knocked down a few notches, as they really should. It's kind of turning into a relatively key. Well, we finished the war with Poland. Uh, unfortunately, not much happened except for that. Apparently, really, Shavolhinia had to cede one province to Poland, but other than that, nothing happened. Probably because I basically was just outnumbering them with my multiple two star general stats. And you know how the AI is in this game, sometimes it does good, sometimes it doesn't want to do good, just kinda of depends. Well, I just won war against the Mamluks and gained a good amount of land over here. Quite a few provinces, and uh, my name 
that has <laughs> that that's relatively uh, neat, I guess. N no, it's really dumb. That's <laughs> over here. Why? Why did it go over? Well, it probably would have been easier uh, for the game to process the name if I had cleaner borders. But since I kind of have just noodles going all over the place, it's saying, "What? What do you want me to put this?" I don't know where to put this. Ah, uh, causing the game pain. It's wonderful. And... I've discovered New Zealand, so after this little province over here is colonized, then I'm gonna start colonizing New Zealand. I was gonna try Australia, but apparently, uh... England and the Kilgis somehow have taking that up and also the Mamluks have started to colonize the Philippines okay then okay hmm okay so Lin wants to call us into a war against Castile and the Papal States hmm you know what? I think that's a good idea, cause it'll allow me to sneak some land in Italy and also in the Americas. So that's definitely gonna be something great. Although it's probably gonna be pretty hard to defend uh, the New World colonies. Oh my God! <laughs> Thirty thousand troops in the New World. I have um about. No. 16, 20, 23,000 troops in the, in the Americas, so, um, oh my, this is gonna be a hard war, but we're gonna do it. Okay, so right now we're sieging down the city of Rome from the papacy, which is actually given us quite a lot of war stores since, well, we're definitely doing pretty good battle-wise. They're kind of going through Sicily right now, but uh, that's fine. Oh, uh, uh, our advisor just died. Let's see, what can we do to replace him? Uh, we can actually get quite a few people, but I think... Go for the prestige guy, because well, oh, and Rome has been sieged down. That did twelve war scores. Wow, that's quite a lot. Hmm. And uh, uh oh my God, Poland! <laughs> Look, you're looking. Look fucking disgusting. <laughs> Just <laughs> Jesus man. And Denmark is having rebel problems. Yeah, their empires would lead collapsing on all sides. Quite literally on all sides, the Poland even took <laughs> their some of their land in Scandinavia. Oh boy, Denmark. <sighs> And we've started colonizing New Zealand. Well, we have colonized New Zealand. Yeah. It's pretty divided between me, England, and the Kilgis. Yeah, the Kilgis probably are colonizing quite a lot. It's, it's, so that's pretty neat. Yep. And our army is massive. We got three armies with two star generals. We're losing really bad in the new world. Man, this is just doing so. Okay, so that previous war with Castile is done, and the Marnids have pulled me into another war. Yeah. It's quite wonderful. 
but this war is against Navara. And uh, tilling by these numbers, they're going to be absolutely destroyed. It is two great powers versus one. Oh, wait a minute, that means that a great power is able to intervene if they want to. Hmm. But... I've also upgraded to Tet 21. Mil military Tet 21. And now we got these awesome looking suits. They do kind of look a little Turkish, but it kind of made sense in, since in some ways Greek and Turkish stuff can be similar in one way or another because the Turks got a lot of their stuff from the Anatolian Greeks and Armenians. Plus Greek soldiers during the 1800s and stuff like that. Whenever they got their independence, I had a look that that kind of looked a, similar to Turkish and Middle Eastern stuff, rather than a lot of your Euro European uniforms, which is probably another reason why we got these very Middle Eastern-looking uniforms. But hey, it it looks cool, and yeah, it's pretty much it. And Jesus, I'm... Wait, what? I'm making so much money. Hmm. Wow. And Bolin is just continuing to look disgusting. As they always should. But they got Danish separatists, and... Poland is fighting Sweden. Oh, Sweden is... Independence, okay. Ah oh, man, that's that's really cool. It's definitely that'll definitely bring Poland down in size if Sweden can gain independence. Besides, I think Sweden is a, is a, obviously a regional power on it by itself. Now, whenever I was going to join the war with Navarra. I was afraid that England was going to be in the war too, but then I remembered that me and the Martinets are both allied to England, so that's not going to happen. That's great, and hopefully the thing that I can gain from this war will be some more land in the new England area in our modern day world, and of course I want to release France from Navarra. I think they've had this land for too much, and you know, it just seems a little strange to not have a France, so, and I kind of want to have a France there, so, that, hopefully that's something that can be accomplished. Okay, so, now in this war, well, we just declared war on the Jeshna Druids, and the Ultinate joined. They have Mamluk Separatists, we still had a truce with them, so they just broke that truce, and... So that means that they got some problems now. So that definitely put a lot of that took a hit to their stability, and, it, and of course, you know that's definitely not a good thing with rebel problems and having to deal with about a thousand troops. And then I got these troops. I'm, I declared war for Al for Al Suez or the Suez. Al Suez. Okay. We just got. Yeah, I got these troops going down to siege down East Khandaraya or uh, Alexandria. Which is a 39 development province, so that's definitely going to be very worth. That, that's going to be worth a lot of worse work. And I'm just gonna. See, I'm 
gonna put the force march on and try to see if I can get over it. But development is higher though. 27, that's pretty good. Jeez. They are getting wrecked. Okay, I'm just gonna follow the army now. They apparently have a peasant problem. Alright. I'm assuming that they're either going to the most far away province. Which they probably are, and I guess I'm gonna have to defeat their peasants. Ships, of course, I don't have a general. I'm, I mean, an admiral. But since probably the Jeshna Grid army has been destroyed, I'm just gonna move some of these troops over here. Up, oh, and we got 30,000 troops. Kizilyar has been converted. Alright. Okay, so we've been at war with the Jeshna for quite a while. I peaced out with the Ultimate and in these provinces, and I'm. You no. Know, I got a little bit of Septus, but. It's, it's fine. But I probably need to core this. Uh, well. Yeah, I'm. Yeah. 
hopefully that will bring the Separatists down, but uh, I'm, I'm ready for the peace deal since I've occupied all their provinces, so now that I have four score. So that's going to be quite amazing to do. Yeah, and the alternate kind of has rebels right now. Yeah. Noble rebels though, and I uh, wanted to take Alexandria because that's uh, a city that should be a uh, priority to take. And I didn't take that province, instead I'm gonna take the provinces around it. There we go. That's gonna be nice. It's gonna cut them in three, but I think it's gonna be good. Got some more sword from that. And I've had almost as much casualties as the ultimate in the Dashing Accurates from mind. Well, now I gotta go for this. Uh, yeah. This might. Well, for me to do, and uh, I have peasants from the Jashin Karids who are still in Alexandria. They might move out, but I'm just gonna have my army go just to be safe. Another reason to do it is so then, well, I am repressed the separatists for a while, so you know that's nice. And hopefully soon I'll be able to create this West Canal. Unfortunately, I have to be a little higher in pit, but who knows? Uh, the technology is doing really good so far, so I guess I could, yeah. And now I guess the we got anti-clericalism. Yeah. Um, uh, basically, the clergy is being greedy and stuff, so, are you gonna force him to pay? Uh, yeah, maybe. What is their state loyalty and stuff? It's not that high, but hmm. Should we make them lose, or do you think the burger should get hit? Ooh. Um. Yeah, we'll just have them take the hit. Uh, we'll probably be able to give them some more provinces soon enough by, of course, making some states. But we got the state of Syria now. And... The state of Palestine. No, 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 never mind. That doesn't do more money than it is me gain. Well, actually, never mind. That's, that's fine. I have quite a good economy. No, do not. Over to. So I'm going over here. Okay. And Dagestan? Maybe. Yeah, why not? Armenia? Let's see how much does that. Ooh, that's positive, okay. No, stop going over here. And Jordan? Oh my god. It's over here again. Okay, uh, let's just let's see how Trash Jordan does. Okay. okay. We can't make any more states. So. Now let's just give the clergy some more provinces. Stuff like that. Oh. Right, I have to make them stick. Course first. Oh, I guess I'm gonna go do that. I don't know. Run out. 
Hmm. I guess that's enough. Let's see what the... I was hoping to give him Jerusalem, because that would be pretty fitting for the color to go in Jerusalem. But, maybe for now you'll just get the Mastus. Right, don't have to need to give you a few more provinces though. I might as well give you the rest of the provinces in the state of Israel, and then maybe some in the Jordan area. I just gotta give you pretty much all these provinces to get your loyalty back up. E oh, don't have enough. Uh. Oh, never mind, I got roads. Oh, that didn't do it. Crap. Well, I guess I'm just gonna have to deal with that, but it's not gonna take me that long. Well, I guess it's time to end the episode here. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like, comment down below, and of course, subscribe. And this, this is Esther here, signing out. Oh, we got the little plantations. Cool. Anyways, see ya in the next video. Bye-bye.